This video is best viewed in full screen mode and on YouTube that's this icon right here. And if you have a high bandwidth connection it's best viewed in HD which can be selected by clicking on this icon here and selecting 720p. This video goes over the custom tab. I tried to put into the first six tabs every field that I can think of that you uh, would use for judgment enforcement. However, everybody has their own way of doing things and one of the goals of this program is to be as flexible as possible. To that end, I've created this tab which gives you 36 fully customizable fields and six uh, generic uh, note fields. So the best way to show you how this works is to come up with an example of some fields to add. Um, it's a little tough for me to do that because every field I could think of that you would might use I already put into the system. So I'm going to make up something a little bit off the wall here. And let's just say you are a judgment enforcer who wants to keep track of the family pet so you can have the sheriff go out there and seize it. And through the magic of video, I will now show you what that's going to look like uh, all set up. Okay, so you notice now that uh, all of these labels have been customized. We have the dog's name, Rocky, the dog type, which is now a drop-down list, the estimated value, which is now a numeric field, uh, the date of birth, which is now a date field, also have another drop-down list for yes, no here, and another text box where you can put in the AKA ID, and finally down here we have a place to put uh, some notes. Okay, so let me show you how you can customize these fields. It's really quite easy. You just click on the label right there and you get this dialog box. Uh, the most important thing to remember is that this is an exact replica of what this field is going to look like after you change the settings. Um, so for example, I'm going to change a group heading to my group heading. If you notice the group heading changes there. I'm going to change the field name to my field. Okay. And uh, use this uh, here to change what your merge field name will be for when you create documents. Um, it's always going to start out with CF dot, but let's just say uh, I want to put in uh, the suffix of my field, so this will be the merge field if I want to put this into a document. Um, here I can select my data type. Right now we have text. It can make it a date. And that shows you what it looks like. And you can actually type into it. So you can type in one slash one say and click away and see exactly how that uh, field is going to behave. You can put in, uh, make it numeric with two decimal places. You can make it numeric with no decimal places. Uh, you can make it a line right or a line left. Um, you can check this off here and when it's, if you put this uh, field into a document uh, it'll put a dollar sign in front of it. And um, then also you have the ability to change the size and location of this field. Um, if you unclick these, you can change, this here changes the left hand side where it starts. And this over here changes the right hand side. So if you got just a number here and you want to make the field just a little bit smaller just to hold the number, then uh, there it is. Um, also you can make this into a drop down list. So if you click on that, um, We've now got a drop down list here, and we can put in items A, B, C, and type in uh, up to 200 of them. And if you notice, as I type them in, it puts them in the combo box. Again, the idea is this is exactly how your field is going to behave. And look, uh, you can check these back to default if you want. I'll set it back to its default positions. And we save it and close and there it is our my group heading with my field and I have the list here A, B, and C and so using that you can pretty much create you know any kind of custom field holding any kind of data that you want 
and uh, of course you can go up to here and say documents merge fields show merge fields and form and there are, are your merge fields if you wanted to uh, put any of these fields into a document I think that pretty much covers the custom field tab I try to make it as straightforward as possible and still allow you to fully customize it hopefully I achieve my goals uh, you guys have a good one Okay, so you notice now that uh, all of these labels have been customized. We have the dog's name, Rocky, the dog type, which is now a drop-down list, the estimated value, which is now a numeric field, uh, the date of birth, which is now a date field, also have another drop-down list for yes, no here, and another text box where you can put in the AKA ID, and finally down here we have a place to put uh, some notes.